And now, once again, it's time for the history of the Negro in America. Don, can we stop tape, please? Red is not here. This happened. How, how many times can this happen? We have a whole studio audience. Where is he? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to get Red, and he'll be right there if you'll just keep your seats. We'll be here in a second. Where? Do you know where he is? I'm sure where he's at his window. The window? He's, well, he's you wanted to give away. him the window. All right, all right. Let's go and get him. We'll talk to him. His business with the window Terrific. is getting Next ridiculous. Next time, give him the door. <laughs> My window to the world. I have finally made it. My dream has come true. All that I asked for has arrived. I might even get a window for this window. <laughs> what a view. What a view. Oh, hi, fellas. Great, great view. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Good to see you. Beautiful. I'm just admiring the view. Mm. Look, look out there. You can see the mountains and the ocean. You can see that woman down there on the third floor. It's sensational. We gotta go do the history of the Negro in America, and then we'll come back and you can do, you can look at the view. Yeah, yeah, but the city looks so beautiful this time of day. Yeah. Just, just look out there. Red, you can come back right after you do the sketch. Come back and look at the city as much as you want. Just see, come and do the sketch. We've got an audience full of Red Fox fans. They're waiting for you to do history of the Negro, and then you can come right back here and look at this. Listen, It'll only be five minutes. Why don't you bring the audience up here? Then they can look at me through the window. Red, now we don't want to take the window away from you. We just need you for a couple of minutes and then you can come back and enjoy the window. Hey, huh? Alan's right, Red. We love you. We got you the window in the first place, didn't we? Let's not abuse it. Let's I, just go. Let's right, go. But see, right. wait, this, this, is, this is my dream. Red, we know, We owe Red. it to your fans to do but this I, sketch. That's, we're not forcing you to do the sketch. I understand. I'm asking you, that's all. Listen, the most important thing is your show. The most important thing on your show is... Here? No, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 Pushing on me, you don't, you don't know me that way. I'll be pushing, <laughs> pushing on Miss Fox to me. I just did this stuff for fun. We're well, we're doing the history. I don't care what you're doing, man. You, you telling people I didn't know shove on me. <laughs> oh, are we on? Yeah. Oh, we on. Fox's history of the Negro in America. Tonight we will discuss an often overlooked black scientist, Alfonso E. Buick, the true inventor. <laughs> Alfonso E. Buick. The E is for Etzel. <laughs> he was the true inventor of the automobile. So I think I have an invention that's going to benefit all mankind. You mean like that reusable soup you came up with last week? <laughs> no, something even more important than that. I want you to come over here so I can try it out. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Ford. You see, you almost killed me yesterday. Well, that's not my fault. You're not supposed to wear an electric sweater outside in the rain. <laughs> 
Okay, now this vaccine can cure hiccups and I need to inject you with oh, it. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Ford, not sir. Uh, why don't we try that out on some mice? Uh, make that some white mice. <laughs> I did that this morning. They all died. <laughs> you know, I'd love to help you, but I'm allergic to death. <laughs> makes me sick on the stomach and I can't do my work. You always got some kind of an excuse, don't you, Alfonso? Oh, look, what are you fooling around with over there anyway? Oh, it's kind of a horseless carriage. Horseless carriage. See, it runs on gasoline. Gasoline? Yeah. I, I invented that last night. See, with this machine, man can get any way he wants and doesn't have to worry about hay or oats or when he walks on the street, he doesn't have to watch where he steps. <laughs> See, I call it the automobile. See, auto because it's automatic and mobile because I'm from Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> you know, that, that sounds pretty good. It may be my greatest invention. <laughs> Your invention? Oh, yeah. Sure, it's my shop, my tools, uh, my parts, uh, my invention. But uh, look, uh, since this is my first automobile, I'm going to give you a great honor, right? I'm going to let you uh, be the very first chauffeur. <laughs> What's that? Well, this is, this is going to be the first limousine, so you're going to be the first chauffeur, right? <laughs> chauffeur? <clears throat> no, no, no. Uh, this is not going to be the first limousine. No. This is going to be the first Patty Hearst. <laughs> what do you mean, first Hearst? Because when I'm through with you, you're going to need a Hearst. <laughs> I've just discovered something. A double hernia. Red, we're back. We're on again. And that's how the first car was invented by a black man and repossessed by a white man. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <sighs> thank goodness. For a second, I thought I'd lost my place. <laughs> I love a good book. 